975 coming at you live with another Lost Relics video and today going over the longbow so I want to go over a couple tips and tricks I found while using this bow I recently got it um, thanks to a drop that I was able to go use those shadow stones to get it I played around with it a little bit and I want to go over some things about this bow that I think make it worth more than its price uh, and while I think it's a good value overall um, so a lot of people use the longbow as it is and everybody suggests it and I was like I wonder what makes it so much better and then when I got it and played with it I was like I get it so let's go over the basics and I'll show off some gameplay and some things that aren't so obvious uh, at least as far as the fine print goes right so with the longbow it's uncommon it's blockchain uh, 25 shadow stones it uh, has a right, uh, excuse me, a left click of 205 damage, a right click of 260, 240, excuse me. It has a left click of 205 and a right click of 642. It's ranged, of course, as all bows usually are. And there is a limited supply of 29 out there to be found. Um, it says, this bow has seen better days, but it's a finer choice compared to a stick with a string hanging off of it, which is true. All right. So all that, you like a pretty standard bow. What makes it so good? Um, and what, what, what maybe don't you see, you know, in there that actually makes the bow better than this? So first off, um, tip one, angle your camera to where this edge of your viewer is looking ahead of you you get max distance you right here i can see this guy but he can't see me yet so we can actually shoot this shot do not aim here it'll say that it's too far away um like like uh this out here I think it's too far away but if um you aim a little bit shorter it'll still fire the arrow past where your mouse is letting you hit the enemy over there like this you were still hitting them even though we it said we couldn't go that far we would actually go past where that mouse clicker is saying that we really are at okay so that's tip one you can actually go farther with this than you can not farther than just just the short bow but also go farther than what you would think you would based on what the, what the game says about the mouse click it's about a little bit more i'd say another few, few you know pixels across the screen you can get out of it and help you bring those enemies a step closer to you Take a step closer here. We have one more here. Um, let's see if I can show that technique off again. We're out of range, but now we're hitting it and it's dead. Okay, here's another one. There we go. So that's step one. You're able to shoot really far and you know, it's able to um, uh, shoot even farther than you think it would. Let's find us an enemy or two here. I wanna hope it happens. But you can also get, um, there you go, it's like that right there. Where you saw that it hit the, the enemy behind it because it had power left over. Uh, instead of all of it going into one enemy and just overkilling it, it actually can spread some of that damage back to the enemy behind it, giving it a pseudo piercing damage. Doesn't always work, but it's like a passive pseudo um, um, you know, advantage that you can actually get almost like a piercing damage in some cases. Not all cases, just some cases. So keep that in mind. Um, so these are a couple advantages of the longbow uh, that I don't think are very noticeable until you actually buy it and play with it. And if you're comprehensive, like, hey, maybe I want to save those shadow stones and I'll just wait to get that until a later date. I hope these help you understand why you might want to get it a little bit sooner. Um, there is the only main drawback I see of the bow uh, is it has a longer pullback time, like longer animation right here, shooting off. Um, one thing I did find very helpful is to make a show it off for dealing with that. When you come up on an enemy, you make that shot, you can pre-click away. So you can be still in the animation for, for clicking or shooting and then still start stepping away beforehand, making it so that you move the instant you're out of the stun lock. Like that. All right. And with that pumpkin right there, I'm out of here. See you guys in the next one. And I hope this information helps you in your Lost Relic gameplay and in the future. Let me know what weapon you would like to see covered next. I'll try to do the best I can. See you next time. Later.